So Flaggy just had a massive update, but the question remains, is this update a game changer or not? Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Captain Jackson here and today we'll be diving into Flaggear 2024.1, exploring what new features Flaggear has to offer as well as the changes that have been made. Without any further ado, let's get right into the video. Alright, before we continue the video, I want to just come in here and give my appreciation to all my subscribers. It's been four years since my last upload and we've gained 11 new subscribers that we are now at 53. We have passed the 50 subscriber mark and I really appreciate it, especially those of you who stayed around to this very moment. But I also want to thank the rest and all for the feedback and comments that I've received. It's really been helpful and I want to say thank you. Alright, so first on our list is the real-time dynamic lighting and shadows. Now, being one of the most requested features in Flightcare, the dynamic lighting and shadows updates has added another level of realism to the sim, making a big impact on the overall flight experience. Now, taking a look at the screenshot, you can see that these are the kind of screenshots you can now take in the sim. Previously, it wasn't the same, it was more plain, but now it's giving more color, more realistic feel. Despite it being optimized, it can be referred to one of the best features added to the sim. Now they've also made some changes to the AI aircraft's behavior. Now it's believed to be more realistic, uh, as you can see in the video. Alright, next on the list are two new aircraft carriers. Um, I cannot pronounce the name, so I will not pronounce it. But yeah, uh, this is what they look like in a second. Alright, next on the list is the route manager. There are some bugs that have been fixed with the dialog, and they've also added some new additional information to it, which is the total distance, distance remaining, estimated time of arrival, and flight time.
all right on to the last two things first is the device configuration panel has been been given some rework it's now different and they've also removed the welcome aboard need help voice message that was the most nostalgic thing we ever had and that was gone all right just some last things i want to point out for the macbook users or the mac os users currently this version of flight gear is broken so you cannot use it properly because uh, as in this play what you can see me the sky is black it's not how it's supposed to be it's supposed to be actually showing you the day and night cycle but only shows black don't worry they're working on it they'll get it fixed and we can enjoy the same as well but for windows users yours is fine yours works well mac we're gonna use in the old 23 version all right, we've reached the end of the video. There are update logs that I didn't cover. You can go ahead and check them out in the link in the description, which is at their website. Now, the websites too, they also have the same. They can go and download it from there. If you're new and you have any issues, I'll go ahead and leave the Discord channel link in the description below. You can go over there and ask for help. They will be there to help. You. It's a very welcoming community, and you find yourself there. Developers want to say thank you. You have made Flygear come very far and really appreciate your education and effort that you're putting to make the same better. Without a doubt, all those efforts are not wasted. Anyway, everyone, thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for coming this far. Let me know what you think of Flygear in the comment section below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And hit the notification button to notify whenever I post a video. This has been Captain Jixon. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.